Welcome to the ninth episode of Jungle Jabber. I'm at EJC and I'm about to meet with the play manufacturer, David Cataneo. Jungle Jabber! I know it's not very coffee like, but cheers! <laughs> cheers! Your third coffee! Yes! Italian in my espresso. life! Let's see if we can uh, capture a good uh, moment after of after tasting expression. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Bada boom, <laughs> that's what you need. It wow, I you. thought you said you put sugar. <laughs> no, yeah, it's at the very bottom. You have oh, to stir, okay. yes. <laughs> but this is how every day starts at Polish or EJC conventions always because, you know, after party night, Daniel, mm-hmm. so you're around till late in the morning. It so was only five, it's not so bad. Only five, but <laughs> coffee. This, uh, that's I'm what sure we it's need gonna help. Whoa, for anything this. else. It's a small cup, it's actually only filled to like, mm. the, it's like the, the strongest. Yes. For, uh, I had, I, so this, the, I have stories, of course, like, because uh, it's only two other coffees I drank in my life. <laughs> One was with a trucker in Portugal and he gave me like a coffee like this size, but it was full. And I thought, wow, this is like a special, but now. No, you have the I'll Italian it. espresso. <laughs> it's it had to be part of your ex- coffee experience. Mm. Take your time to finish yours. <laughs> mm. So then. But David, we're in front of the, the Play Store here. Yeah. Because you are, it says on the website, general manager. Yeah. But um, what do you do? You design, you own, you sell, you produce. What, yeah. How do you describe I do what the, you do? I do the accountancy. I do, yes, yes. Is, is there somebody else working in Play? Or sure, no, no. We're six people in total. Mm-hmm. And we're growing and I'm learning, delegating and it's getting better. Mm-hmm. And I actually, at the moment, the whole building has been restructured and reorganized completely. Because really, it's, it is working well for play. And mm-hmm. the last few years has been really successful after many, many years of struggles and, uh, and hard times to get there. But it is really happening. I, could, I, could, I think it's the first time uh, I could really say, hmm, it's working. Play Good. is running well. And so I, yeah, I, o- I also am working, delegating and having mm-hmm. more people around me. But to be honest, I, I want to keep as much as possible of the direct experience, like coming to a convention mm-hmm. uh, and stuff like this and selling directly because it's, it's the basement, the strength of my experience and uh, selling to jugglers yeah having the direct feedback of people Mm -hmm. uh, being in the gym leaving the conventions like i always did since i started and so keeping enjoying and having fun and meeting people and friends and it's the only way to know what's going on for real Mm -hmm. and and people appreciate it they come to the play stand and say oh you should do this you should try that did you see that guy and like of course it's like uh, nothing could replace this. So I am happily still in the first line and still enjoying like 20 years ago when I started going to convention. So that is definitely a commitment for me to yeah, keep being there. 20 years, it's uh, one of the quick summary. I heard you got the factory, like your father already had a plastic molding yeah. company, right? Yeah, yeah the, 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 st- the story, if I can make it short, because it's like made of many things, of <laughs> yeah, course. Of course. My dad decided to put himself on his own business after the age of 50. Mm-hmm. And oh. there was, yeah, mm-hmm. in the very same uh, little town, uh, northeast, 30 kilometers northeast from Italy, where we are now, where he was born. Okay. Yeah, there was this guy selling this factory, manufacturing musical instruments for kids in schools mm-hmm. and kindergartens and construction kits and stuff like that. It's just, he wasn't interested specifically in the products, but he really wanted to own his own business, have, have some machinery okay. and stuff. Yeah. So thought, because okay, my dad is one of those, you know, fix it all, fix everything. Mm-hmm. He likes to, he's a, a mechanical designer originally. And that's where uh, my design skills come from. He taught me to design, uh, technical design. And nothing, he really wanted to have some machines and stuff to play with. Obviously, it it was a terrible idea because without any specific preparation or studies behind, you start putting yourself on your own business without any experience. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It can be really tragic. And uh, it's been very tough for many years. Uh, then I got into juggling myself. I was still a student at when university. When was this? 
1996. Mm -hmm, so. 1996, yeah. so it's over 20 yes, years. Yes, that's a long time. Uh, I was playing Diablo for fun, <laughs> and that's what I started with. I and was playing Diablo in 1996. Yes. This is uh, the start also. Yes, yes. We even launched a TV campaign with a big Italian distributor at the time in 2000. It was a, another financial disaster <laughs> for us. Uh, it's a long story, <laughs> but we started like. Uh, like many things in life, random chances. And uh, the real thing that I could say about the whole story of my luck, it's I had a great father. I have a great father that was super open and always let me try. Mm -hmm. Like the, the real um, quote in my family is, no matter what you do, just do something. Like even if you make mistakes, you learn from mistakes. Actually, the, the biggest lessons I received in my life is from these big mistakes we did because we tried and we failed. But the only real mistake is not doing, you mm -hmm. know? That's the thing. So uh, even w uh, when we went through very hard times in my family, we really struggled going through these really difficult times. Uh, we kept ourselves in a positive mind. It was tough, but like, Let's go on, let's carry on, let's do it because... So uh, afterwards you think you made the right choice or could have been easier? It could have been easier with better business knowledge, how to run mm -hmm. a business because through the years I had to do many extra courses because I found myself totally unprepared to run the accountancy of a company mm -hmm. for instance because you tend to think, oh, making balls and juggling equipment so cool but you know like any other it's business so more, that's just course. the tip of a gigantic iceberg and if you start from zero it takes years to learn the whole thing so now i can say i know how to run my company because i know every little bit that makes it but like it took a long time starting from zero like i could say 10 years to stabilize mm -hmm. the business 15 years to get some recognition in the market and now it's like okay now play is a successful brand and yeah oh, now this is definitely good so yeah and we also have uh, probably the biggest range in the world of, uh, regarding juggling balls and no, i think in equipment in general that we manufacture because we manufacture directly like 99 percent of all we sell i think we are uh, we have probably the biggest range in juggling I in should the juggling some market. Time. Yes. So that's the, the story. Uh, being positive, don't be afraid to make mistakes and try and try and try. Actually, the, the worst experience, that one of trying to sell it in mainstream channels in the big distribution market, was the one that gave me the motivation to uh, start making good quality equipment mm -hmm. for professionals. Because, I, of course, I would start already go to juggling convention and live this beautiful world and watch shows and be in contact with jugglers so i wanted to do that thing i wanted to do, do the props for these people mm -hmm. not for the supermarkets or the big chain stores and uh, that bad experience was the the big motivation for me to was, switch what, what was the bad experience the that that thing to try to sell the cheap diabolos ah, to okay, a yeah. big mm -hmm. uh, yeah. distributor in italy in the year 2000 it was uh, it was really not 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 good it was we we almost bang uh, went mm -hmm. bankrupt we had to sell the the building to because we've been eaten by these big mm -hmm. companies and um, found ourselves in a position where we really didn't know how to behave uh, and to negotiate with bigger guys. So I can't go into details, yeah. but anyway, it was a, a, a bit of a tragedy from which I really realized to make this switch. Jugglers. From now on, I'm going to dedicate my life to, turn, to change this company into a specific uh, high quality yeah. business manufacturers. So. But this is super difficult. I talked to some some other suppliers, and they sell ninety percent of their props. They sell to to uh, how do you call this? This is toy toy stores and stuff because because they are the ones who consume a lot. Jugglers. Yes. There's yes. not so many of us. I mean, we love your props, but it's not uh, like we can. Fun. Also, um, for example, your clubs are relatively cheap. So also for the non-professional audience, 
it's accessible. Yes. How, how, would you, how, how much of your market do you know? How many are serious jugglers? Like how many are convention goers and how many are kids somewhere in the world who play for I one think, summer? Or? I think there's, a, there's a other aspects that you didn't mention to take into account because there's a lot going on with uh, circus schools mm -hmm. and teaching that I'm really interested into rather than, you know, the shops and mm -hmm. the supermarkets. And you still have a big audience there mm -hmm. of uh, beginners and families and kids. And, uh, and it's a market that has been constantly growing very much in the last 15, 20 years, okay. at least since I know. So for me, it's like mainly rather than shops and professionals, it's more schools okay, and yeah. professionals. So mm -hmm. I don't need to be on the shelves of the shops, but I am happy to be supplying directly the, 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 the schools that really have this great chance to, uh, you know, to, to have give the first approach to juggling and to circus disciplines to people, which is very important. That's why even I'm really proud to say that even our cheapest products, like mm -hmm. the One Piece clubs, they're really good juggling yes, yeah, products. I'd, I'd say so, yes. Uh, it's very cheap. I've it's had a lot of One Piece juggling exactly. clubs and most of them are really awful. <laughs> Exactly, and these ones are you, you, you are teaching the right thing, mm -hmm. you know, you're give, it's very important. I mean, you, you should see me when people come, of course, people come to shop in the factory almost mm -hmm. every day. And I test them because uh, some people are really enthusiastic about juggling and teaching mm -hmm. it when they find out about it. But I want to make sure you're going around and teaching the right thing because mm -hmm. you are responsible <laughs> to give, you know, the first approach to kids and people with this beautiful discipline so mm -hmm. of course i'm joking i'm not really testing I know, people but, uh, just to I, I say my attitude no, no. you know but you're so, right, um, so to answer your question we sell uh, we try to sell uh, all over the world mm -hmm. as much as possible and thankfully these days it is possible even with uh, a small little company in a little town in hey, north of just Italy. before you were breaking all we're so big and now uh, okay yeah, no yeah. i mean i mean <laughs> yes, we are still small mm -hmm. still, we have the biggest Com range of profits but it's a small business you know uh, but thanks to the possibility to make it uh, international uh, through mm -hmm. the internet of course uh, it's super exciting it's been a great challenge for me to to internationalize the business, to make it really as much as possible going worldwide and being able to select my customers. Mm -hmm. So we have yeah, luxury that you can choose. What yeah, you but it's like to. you, it's an automatic actually thing. If you decide to do quality uh, and uh, you don't want to import and stuff like that, like I do, you automatically get out of that mass market you were talking mm -hmm. about of you know shops being everywhere and uh, so so yeah I, I prefer this you know the, the the jugglers the professionals and to follow and support the the teaching projects uh, then of course we some of our distributors and vendors they also put our products mm -hmm. a bit lately some people uh, showed me that uh, some of our stage balls in America has been has been sold on the Walmart uh, okay. platform, which is really not at all what I would choose. Yeah, yeah, but man. it's happening, you know. When uh, after you have sold to someone, they can do whatever they want mm -hmm. with it. So, uh, but that's not actually my goal in life, you know. Right. Just to say, but if somebody else makes money for you by doing this. I'm happy. I'm happy yeah, yeah. to to see my products uh, a bit everywhere. It's like a good uh, showcases for me mm -hmm. anyway. Even Amazon and those places. I, I we are on Amazon, uh, but to be honest, it's not just because it's my priority mm -hmm. or I rely too much on on the money that we make through Amazon. But I feel the responsibility. I have to know what's going on over mm -hmm. there. You know, yeah. Cons uh, customers they're more and more into this type of shopping. And I need to know how it works and I, I need to know how to be there and how to take advantage also of, uh, of, the, of the visibility that this type of platforms, Amazon, eBay, I'm just mentioning the most popular, but like try to be a bit everywhere just because I don't want to be ignorant and uh, I don't want to be left behind and then oops, wake up one day and oh, I miss that and I can't even understand what's going on, you see, so that's the idea. 
Let's move on to the props. Um, yep. The, 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 the designing process, let's start with this. Um, uh, do you do this by yourself? Is, are, are there six people in the company all designing with you? Uh, no, you I am stuff? designing. You're everything. designing, that's, okay. That's my real fun That's your real fun. Yeah. Where, where does it come from? Where, like, you have a lot of props that are like reinvented or where's inspiration? Oh, oh, we'll start with actually. What was your first prop after the Diablo? I think the, the, the cl club, Dragon Club, was my second uh, big thing because uh, I, ca I can't PX3 say I designed the juggling rings because mm -hmm. juggling rings are so simple and basic that I... I will talk I about the juggling rings in a second because okay. I think that it's uh, not a... Uh, <laughs> okay, but let's say mm -hmm. the standard ones, the, the first ones mm -hmm. I did came before the clubs, but it's not something okay, I, I okay, would yeah. uh, consider, oh, I designed yeah, And it's, it's relatively easy to make, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also in the beginning, I did like everybody, I watched around what was already available mm -hmm. on the market and I did my own version, but I wasn't so sure of what I was doing, honestly, when, mm -hmm. I, when I started. So I just, uh, uh, for example, the famous dimension of the standard juggling ring, 32 centimeter, mm -hmm. uh, 4 centimeter wide. Uh, I just copied yeah. that. I just did my own version of that same thing everybody was using. So, no inventions, no designing. But the clubs, yeah, it's always been my fixation, you know, to do a, a good, reliable, strong juggling club. Yeah. What, 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 when is a club a good club? For me, mm -hmm. uh, point number one above everything, when it's strong and reliable. It's a mm -hmm. working tool and you drop this, these objects hundreds, multiple times every day and there's like, there's nothing more important than, than strength and re reliability. Mm -hmm. uh, so, also because I'm convinced that our body is amazing, our brain is exceptional tool and you can adapt to anything. Yeah, so, yes, I spend half of my life talking about one extra gram here, one millimeter moving the balance point there mm -hmm. and details and texture and uh, and what all the sort of things that we juggler love to talk mm -hmm. about but in the end uh, practice is the mother of all skills and you can become yeah. the greatest juggler like rastelli was uh, even juggling wood sticks, wood sticks yeah. you know so that's why i'm uh, i have i'm convinced that beside the features you can really change in many different ways it's the strength of the product the main point for me that's why i developed the px3s uh, more than 10 years ago mm -hmm. because i didn't like fixing broken clubs and i couldn't tell if that batch of wood was good or not or constant in weight and stuff yeah and, the plastic and so is px3 the same. is it wasn't to promote the flexibility or whatsoever the flexibility it's the feature that allows you to, to produce an unbreakable club because mm -hmm. it absorbs the shocks. So uh, if you see even the latest evolution on clubs with the PX4s and everything, is just uh, a consequence of the recurring problems people have when juggling intensively with an mm -hmm. object. Like there was tape in the middle and staples and stuff that was a, a constant thing yeah. to fix and maintain. Got rid of that. There's yeah. no glue, no staple, no tapes, nothing. The wrapped handle is now molded in multiple colors, but it's also mm -hmm. important because and I can choose the material. I, I don't have to repair the handles. I mean, mm -hmm. these clubs are virtually maintenance-free. And, uh, and people that, for example, work a lot at traffic lights, mm -hmm. uh, which is the hardest of yes, the job, the because, uh, you know, the asphalt, is, there's nothing like that. You know, you can juggle two years in a gym, or three months in the street, you know, and uh, that's how intense is, how more intense is juggling on the street, as we well know. And they can rely, they can trust mm -hmm. PX3s and PX4s for that because they don't break. And, and I always, I keep receiving stories of cars running over the clubs and mm -hmm. nothing happens, that you can still use them. For me, that's the, the main thing. Mm -hmm. Then I'm obviously happy to discuss about how it spins, uh, the texture and everything, because it's my passion, but mm -hmm. uh, n nothing before break, uh, durability. You know, durability. It's a good business model. If your props never break, they never need to come back. And uh, 
yeah but anyways you know they still break it's not that they are luckily they still you still have to do some maintenance and change the tops and knobs mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, every now and then so it's a false myth yeah very often yeah, people say I, but if I, they don't break then no. you don't sell it them. was it was more of a joke because i i be, i'm so happy that people make things that are unbreakable and i yeah. can't anyway yeah and it's worth your money so with the clubs there, I, th I say they're pretty traditional in the way you use them, except you make them durable strong. With the balls though, mm -hmm. you invented balls that make a new genre possible, like the, the Silex for example, makes yeah. contact and juggling yeah. combinable, which is a huge influence on the juggling scene. How, how, how does it start and how do you feel about that so many people now can do juggling that was not possible before there was play balls? Yeah, 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 no, I'm super work. proud of this, but... Uh, once more it's like a, a process that you know you you find yourself into it i remember like it was a the silex it was like again like people wanted to have russian balls mm -hmm. and i'm sorry but it's not at the moment not yet my type of my favorite type of ball i didn't mm -hmm. like the idea of the sand concentrating in one point and making the the balls wobble if you throw mm -hmm. them with a the spin it has a very specific reason, the sand and the fact that the Russian balls behave like that. So I'm not saying it's not a good ball. Absolutely, it's a great type of ball for uh, juggling. But I, I just wanted to find an alternative solution to that. So I wanted that weight to be not influencing the behavior of mm -hmm. the ball too much. So I did some experiments and then at that time I was uh, and giving around a lot with Stefan Singh in Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped me a lot also in, in giving me feedback when I was doing experiments and tests. And we end, I ended up uh, thinking of the solution of some thick liquid that slides inside the bowl so that it really has a neutral behavior but adds that extra weight that the bowl needed to have in order to be yet soft but nicely to handle and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, a lot of tests. Huh? Mm -hmm. This has been all I'm saying is all going through several, several attempts every time. You cannot imagine the <laughs> espresso. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine the espresso. <laughs> no, I cannot imagine the amount of tests, especially <laughs> if you need to. Uh, luckily, you don't need to mold the balls. You can just fill different liquids all the time. Right? Yeah, you can imagine the amounts of liquids we tried. Also, amongst the liquid like silicones, yeah. the, there's the different densities and stuff. And so, I mean, while we're doing it... And you try them or you send them to people like Stefan? Or? Yes, all the time, even today. I can't rely on my own personal opinion, especially because, yes, I do juggle, but I'm not at all a great juggler mm -hmm. or I, and I have my own personal taste which cannot be the main influence so again going to conventions and being in direct contact with people making connection offering the opportunity and the possibility to you know get stuff for free and tell me and give me feedback I do this all the time like people sometimes say but you're giving away stuff you know but for me it's the best investment you know mm -hmm. Because uh, is I don't obviously I don't do it with the purpose of devaluing my my products, but you know I yeah. give as much as I can when I'm at conventions because uh, I always get back ten times, and so lately in the last year and a half uh, I I developed this great collaboration with Wes, mm -hmm. and he really was big influence for uh, for the making of the PX4 project, you know because. Uh, He's great, and he, and if he tells me, <laughs> about it. and he gave me quite a few tips about uh, the small little things to fix on clubs, you know, that's like on the other side, not mm -hmm. in terms of strength, but on ah, how okay, we like yeah. it, no, mm -hmm. and uh, and so yeah, that I still base uh, all of my, you know, projects on uh, on collecting feedback from people, big time actually. I think it's the only way, so uh, I think I will be <laughs> keep doing it. All yeah, the time. I hope to be. I, I actually great. like it because it's it's you know as I said, there's uh, making the props is like the tip of a big mm -hmm. iceberg, and uh, designing and the collaboration and uh, with people and 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 the most the more creative side of uh, my business is is obviously the part I like the most. Mm -hmm. So. Having people at home for uh, 
our sofa is always fully booked, you know. Mm -hmm. Our house is always full of people. <laughs> always, always there. Just stopping by and visiting and... Uh, but you have time for this after accounting and producing it. Hey, yeah, you have to find the time. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we work hard, spin. work a lot, mm -hmm. but as long as you It shows like off, it. it shows off. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. So, yeah, and, uh, and then uh, besides that, curiosity, I would say, it's the main engine. Like, in the last two, three years, I got into 3D printing, laser cutting. I'm, me and my wife, we go in very often to fab labs to develop personal projects and stuff i just okay. we just recently bought a, a laser cut machine so this you displays the are, are the, the very yes. first thing i did uh, the night before leaving but i'm, ah, pla nice, I'm nice. planning to to introduce a, new, a whole range of new products with uh, cardboard using no <laughs> cardboard i don't <laughs> think you can, you can cut wood that's bites? a bit against the yeah, strength but you and can, durability you can cut wood with the lasers or what yes, can you do wood wood organic material mm -hmm. plexiglass plastics plexiglass and, okay yeah so that can be interesting. like imagine boogangs mm -hmm. and cigar boxes yeah you can easily uh, make rings in all size shapes yeah it's we uh, want to do with tom you know i we yeah. can i work a lot with tom, tom from renegade, renegade yeah, yeah. Just we already have in mind to do a, a, a series of classic setup for a big finale like like uh, I don't know big ah, balance yeah, yeah, yeah. finale. I, I, I work on posts. these tricks myself, so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll tell later. See, but so uh, with the laser cut, we can really yeah. do. I an bought some of Renegade's rings last time, but yes, but if uh, if there was a laser you can cut. do custom rings for your combination that's, and that's uh, great. and uh, and take back a bit of that old super charming. Oh, yeah. We uh, will talk about it later. So more. It's, it's good that, to know you're interested. Cool. Yes. Yeah, and stuff like that. Then so. Uh, Always curious, always looking around, always eager to learn new stuff and mm -hmm. and have fun. Have fun because play, it's a good name also yeah, because it always reminds you that that's the most important thing for me. You know, always remember to have fun. You always play, have you also these years when you're struggling, you still have fun. It's always work. So yes. Uh, then, yes, then I cannot. Uh, I couldn't be. I think I'm a super lucky guy, so I couldn't really complain. And and as I said earlier, even the hard times, obviously not during but after, becomes the experiences you are more attached to. If you, if I look back, it's really also very much through the hard times that I mm -hmm. became the the businessman I am. Even if I don't like so much the word, but like. That's what I am Sometimes. at the end of the day. So yes, props. Yep. I'm keeping escaping your questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Props. We, 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 we have a club at the moment with the ring. Let's, let's do the last for the prop thing. Boy, we have rings are boring, no? Or rings. Well, no, well, no, but the recently we, we were they became uh, really interesting yes, rings because indeed. the Saturn flexible rings. Gone Fernandez and these other yes, guys. Yes, they, they do the folding where they can make hats. We were at Petty Petter, Petty Petter Hoven. Incredible yeah, show. One show. of the best shows I've seen. It's but like the big part was, I don't know, well, you know the game name of the guy? I only know the other two jugglers. I'm sorry, I, mean, I don't know them There were yet, three jugglers and one was a ring juggler who was doing the folding. Yeah, and yeah. Did you know that it was possible when you made them? Yeah, because I, you know, I also organized a juggling convention in Italy. Okay. 11 edition already gone and it's really it's the biggest juggling convention in Italy is a few kilometers from the factory mm -hmm. and of course I'm uh, the artistic director so I'm taking care of the shows and the, uh, and the like gala you have, shows. If enough time in your hands. And yeah. Gon Fernandez who's the guy that originally started before mm -hmm. anyone else to yes. develop techniques with this type of rings. Uh, he's been in touch with me of course because he needed incredible amounts of those rings for mm -hmm. his shows and I invited him to perform uh, the gala show of last edition of last May so I did have the chance to appreciate the incredible stuff people ended up finding doing yeah. with these rings which were it's completely not popular at all before this happened mm -hmm. because they actually are too flexible for technical juggling okay yeah so I, I and did it the big it one happened by maybe? chance yeah, you know? yeah someone thankfully found out uh, something but you great. never thought you like oh I throw this in the trash can and I'll make a harder ring in the, I always, for some reason, I always wanted to, but I always doubted, and now okay. I'm so happy. No, yeah, well, I'm happy I too, didn't think about you something create, else. Again, new juggling yeah, is impossible. Man, otherwise. But this is like I, I cannot take any credit. Actually, yeah, no, this it's is just, like just luck. Yeah, no, but yeah, luck. This only happens when people make 
things in a new way. Just no, but it's super exciting now to see what they do yes. with it. It's like crazy. It's like that's a, one more reason for I love this environment because uh, it's creative. It's surrounded by curious people like mm -hmm. me that are trying to find new ways to use things and. That's amazing. And it's funny, it's a really ancient tradition actually to do the, the head folding with the ring. Yeah. Like the, the, the wife of, of Tom, she was she was had a head that she would do a lot of characters with because it's just a ring that you can shape. Uh, but yeah, they yeah, make yeah, it yeah. the the felt, the the, the soft uh, fabric felt yeah, to yeah, make yeah, it from yeah. and then they fold it. It's, it's, I found the books of eighteen hundred where they really? show. Really? I didn't know this. Ah but, cool. Uh, so yeah, you can recreate it with the ring, it's, it's, it's all a circle. Oh. Everything has been invented already, yeah. you just find new ways to use it. Okay. Like, uh, this topic is interesting as well, like, uh, uh, I never I never tried to invent a new juggling product. Mm -hmm. Like, some people sometimes ask me, oh, but why don't you, did you try, blah, blah, blah. It's interesting, but I'm sorry, people are not so much keen to changes or Mm -hmm. be educated to something. I mean, at least for me, it's a small company. I don't have uh, the power to create a totally new prop mm -hmm. and then go around the world Not and the try shape. to teach everybody to use this new product. So I'm, I'm a bit t traditionalist mm -hmm. for as much as I love innovation and technologies and stuff in terms of, uh, you know, a ball is a ball is perfect as it is. The rings are very simple, clubs, it's a Actually, yeah. the most specific yes. only juggling product, but is but they accepted in juggling culture for 50 now years. Sa so standard requirements that yeah. people are not. Uh, really, I tried to do original stuff, and it it never was uh, really accepted because mm -hmm. uh, you know you don't want to spend your time adapting to a prop. You just want to play. Yeah, and if you want to make a thousand, like of course somebody wants to have an original, but then they want to be the only one doing it. Yes. So. No. 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 And then there's also the. And then real professionals, they I think most of the time they should have uh, their own custom version of uh, of product because you know when you become professional and you have your own taste and you mm -hmm. you have to be super happy about the product the props you're using to feel confident. It's very psychological uh, discipline juggling. Mm -hmm. So and and hypnotic on my opinion as well because of the repetition and mm -hmm. the stuff. So there's a very important psychological factor and it's very much related also to how confident and happy you are with what you're using, in my opinion. So your perception of that color combination, that stuff. Yes. For me, simple it helps to have them in my own color. Simple example. Uh, Wes Speeden is, is happily using the PX4 clubs now mm -hmm. and uh, he does everything with them, but he's been using for so many years the the Henry's clubs mm -hmm. and and some tricks he does are very much depending on the EVA tops and knobs that Henry has mm -hmm. on the club that uh, for some parts of the show he uses clubs with the still the EVA if, mm -hmm. if, even if it's PX4 he switches the tops switches the tops and knobs into the EVA ones because that's his mm -hmm. favorite custom combination for the type of trick is and now uh, I'm I'm happy about it. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm super, awesome. uh, you're one of the greatest jugglers, super professional. You have to have your own personal uh, prop, man, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So Now the secret is out there. If you want to become a good juggler, get the Henry stuffs. <laughs> no, <laughs> man, no, 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 no. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be the message. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, of course. What do you want in the future? You have, is there still something you want to invent that needs to be done in juggling world with the help of manufacturing? Or yeah, is always, there, is yes. there you have something? No, the list is infinite. I, I, I need another three or four lives, man, to accomplish all the projects. Well, luckily, uh, you, have, you have five people who work for you. Uh, so yeah, you but also the collaboration we do again with Tom Renegade, we have a list of common projects that we are about to brought up together. That is like pff, too much, actually. It's like, uh, oh my God, I want some. Yeah, time some for examples myself. that you can share. Mm. Uh, let me see. I don't have them here. I because, know, uh, already, already together with another very cool guy from Light Tricks, Wojciech mm -hmm. from Light Tricks. Uh, we're trying to develop a cool range of uh, glow equipment mm -hmm. that you can control with your smartphone. Yeah, because you don't have glow, right? That's no, I'm not a big from fan, play. I have to be honest. Even, even if 
I feel I, I have to mm -hmm. uh, make a line of glow equipment. I'm not a big fan of light up equipment. Mm -hmm. and I, see. I have zero knowledge of electronics, mm -hmm. so I will take care of the mechanical and structural uh, side of the project. And then Wojciech, who's an expert in this type of things, is going to develop the software and the uh, hardware for uh, the glow equipment. So we'll, we'll, we are uh, in. We are uh, trying to do this. It's been already happening for over a year, okay. but it takes time. Yes, of course. So, of and course. then from then on, imagine with uh, with a good uh, software and device, we will probably develop a full range of uh, of cool props. Uh, and, and in every prop, you can put a light, of course. Yes. So. And then, as I mentioned before, uh, light can. We then. recently. Watch out for your I'm mic. leaving you for a sec. Oh, polite. Uh, this one might, I'm destroying the camera. Sorry. Nobody can hear you now. Okay. I'm too it's cheap still to have, recording? Yeah, I'm, I'm too cheap to have like the, the no. pockets that you yeah, have. Right, wireless. The radio. Yeah, this is Renegade, right? Yes. I, but this I is have like one of we these. Did, this, we did, this is manufactured in Italy, so... Ah, and, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we do because I bought this from, from Tom last really? year, yeah, the mouthpiece, but I thought he makes a... So I was like, ah, finally he comes to yeah, Europe again. This is again. one of those uh, projects I mentioned mm -hmm. that we are doing together. It's, it's a mouth stick, if you can't see. You put this in your mouth and then you... Spin a ball on top of this one, or, or balance a ball. Uh, uh, yes, and it's part of that idea of uh, taking back. This is more Tom's uh, pushing for this, but I really like the idea to to develop a, a little range of uh, old time yeah, uh, traditional things. style. Because it gets so. more popular now. Actually, the last last five years, it's been growing these yeah, traditional yeah. style tricks. Yeah, but also, I mean, so. no no one really does it anymore. So. Mm -hmm. uh, we have now the, the equipment and the possibilities to do even small productions mm -hmm. of very special stuff. Uh, and that's really exciting because uh, uh, it's not obviously something you do for the money or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's really, we, we want to be making cool stuff for, uh, for a very specific type of market. Yeah, yeah I, so. I, I would be that type of market, so Bravo. I'm happy to hear this, it's cool. Bene, so I should take a, uh, put a Daniel here on ah, yeah, one cool. of this yes, <laughs> yes. next time. Uh, custom, custom name printing, that'd be cool. Yeah, that could be done already with the laser print uh, cut we got, because uh, we, we could laser your name or well, any... You can, can you engrave the clubs with yeah, them? Yeah, like, sure. Oh, yeah, you can awesome. engrave like, plastic. Get like a scratching name yeah. on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. So I still have to, really, I didn't, I had only two weeks before coming here to put my hands on the machine, mm -hmm. but... But you have it now, so you yeah, can play yeah, whenever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, right. So from uh, after the summer, there's going to be a lot of news to show to mm -hmm. cool. everyone. Awesome. Three more small things. Yes. The first, easy. Um, if people want to find out about you, about play juggling, where should they go? What's the best place? Playjuggling.com. Ah, Very so. easy. I always we also ask have a to. Facebook uh, fan page, of course. You can subscribe and there uh, you really can... We are not really hammering <laughs> Back on, on publicity. Yeah, that's the team, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, everybody that helps me at the EGC is just friends that don't do this job normally in real life. It's my my hometown friends okay. coming to have fun, and it's our ah, cool. year holiday. You know, we we could never miss EJCs, and uh, I'm happy to say we, I like to keep it like that, very friendly and uh, mm -hmm. a bit messy sometimes. It's a ah, bit of a mess our survive. stand, but you know what? I like it. I like it a lot that it's a bit, you know family and mm -hmm. uh, fun and party yeah, time yeah, it's, it's uh, matching it the, the event as well the event spirit so thank you my friends to but support. yeah i'll put a link to the website and the facebook and then uh, yes please uh, you visit that the there's fans. also the new the website now is just uh, e-commerce but in a few months uh, it's going to be completely renewed and uh, we've been investing a lot in uh, professional pictures and stuff like that during events and performances and stuff and we want to do more uh, the new website will be way more informational in terms mm -hmm. of how to choose your first juggling ball what's the technical differences between this and that yeah, that's good. I like which to artists these all over the world are using this and that it to be more informational rather than just any mm -hmm. shop. That's important because when I see other juggling, uh, the juggling stores, they copy the text from you. So if your yes, text is good, everybody has good text. Plus, 
the great majority of people don't e can't even tell the difference between a, a hybrid light or mm -hmm. a Silex, yes. uh, a normal Silex. So uh, we really wanted to put that as many information as possible out there. Uh, and this is going to be happening really soon. I'm super excited about this, actually. Uh, what else? Visit it. Keep going on playjuggling.com and uh, you buy the props wherever you want. I don't want you to, uh, to make out. I don't want to rule the world, but please remember that uh, choose good quality stuff mm -hmm. because uh, it is important that your, your uh, juggling experience is pleasant and uh, you are confident you're using a good product to learn. So choose the quality. You know, which doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it has to be expensive, mm -hmm. but uh, take your time to, uh, fi to, to realize the difference between uh, a nicely advertised cheap product. Yeah, just come to EJC and quality. try, you know. Yes. Then you can this is the hands. best option, of course, you know. Go to and conventions. Try, try and all and, uh, yes, this is the best way, but not everybody is so lucky to go to EJC. So. But this all, almost answers already my second question. Is, yes. is, is, is there something we forgot to talk about that yeah. you want to tell, share, that the juggling world should know? Well, except for now you said it's neutrality, so maybe it's already done, but... Uh, no, I don't know. I, we should... I, I've been talking a lot. Yeah, you talk, talk a lot, lot sorry. So. You should shut me up sometimes, but hope maybe we should t tell them to... Sorry, guys, we are having an interview here. You're in the middle of the camera and the audio recording. Uh, see my family team? He's better at telling people to shut up than me. It's all right. <laughs> so I think maybe we should stop because yeah, he's going to yeah. get busy here. It's almost opening time. It's yeah, good because I only have one more last. Yes. Which is, can you show a trick? Because <laughs> you said you learned to jump. But I need to I, I undo the you. mic then. Now we are on this mic so people can still hear you. Trick, are you to help? Well, you can trick, well, trick, well, trick. Oh, whatever you want, trick. trick. It's up to you. Yes. Well, trick with like hybrid. Maybe, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe I can try. I can try a couple of times because I'm not the. Uh, oh, so you are a real juggler. Much. Yes, I am, of course, dude. Awesome. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Thank this was you, really Daniels. good. Thank you and so uh, much, really. <laughs> I really appreciate this. Yes, it'll be online sometimes. Yes, you will get to see it. Thank you. Yay! I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode with Davide Cataneo and as always I'd like to thank the IJA for sponsoring this episode. I've recorded three more interviews at the EJC, one with club passer Manuel Mitas from Jonglissimo, one with hoop juggler Mariana de Sanctis and one with the famous Diablo player Rio Yabe. So you can look forward to these episodes in the coming months. See you later!